Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze BBF stamped with silver. I've started with Neltix Formula 2 and here is China Glaze BBF. Beautiful, plummy, purpley, pinky, plummy, yummy, yummy. And this is from the new OMG Flashback Collection. Now the formula on this is a little different. I've talked about I mentioned it in a couple of videos. It's kind of jelly-like. It's it's, but it's not a jelly. I mean, you can look at it and see it's not jelly. It's hollow, but you've got to be careful and not over manipulate this polish. Now I'm only showing you me putting it on one coat because I lost my footage of the second coat. So there is two coats, and I'm gonna put this Pro FX top coat on it to seal it down and dry it up so that I can get to some playing. Now back to the formula. Like I said, it's really kind of a funny formula. It wasn't a bad formula. It's just different. just wanted you to be aware in case you do buy it and you try it. I'll be using this Ajubas EJB06, I believe, in Nicole Diary in SO4. And my Clear Jelly Scraper and my Conad Stamper. It's the first time I'm using this plate, so we're going to pull this blue film off of it and give it a little wipe down. I like to do this to new plates. And here we go. Get it all clean up and wipe it down with the paper towel real quick. Now, I'm going to be using this image on three of my nails on my pointer, middle, and pinky. I love it. It's just like a snowflake flower mandala kind of looking image, and I really do like it. Now, before I get too deep into it while I'm doing some stamping, I want to just go over some things about this Ajubas plate. Not just this one, but Ajubas plates in general. My friend Francis, Dolphin Chick Nails, gave me some really good advice. These are plates that are excellent for beginners because they're so deeply etched. The polish doesn't dry out too fast on the plate. It gives you just a little bit more time to play with it. So if you're new at stamping, you might want to try one of these plates first. If you're, you know, or if you're not, you know, as fast as, as me or some of the other ladies that use some of these cheaper plates, you might want to give these a try if you're struggling with it. I don't want you to give up on it. Stamping is some really good stuff. I'm going to use this little side image on my thumb and my ring finger as my accents. So um, you'll see me line those up. But back to the stamping plate stuff. I really like finding plates that are good for beginners. And Francis brought up a great point about how, how you know, these would really be good. Because I know a lot of you have tried stamping and you've gotten really frustrated with it. These might be a good one to try. And once you get it down on a plate like this, you're able to use, you know, some of those other plates that might not be etched so well because you'll have learned how to do it. So there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my tape like I normally do and also my cleanup brush and my little dampened dish of acetone over there. But I really do love these plates. I'm having such a good time with these Ajubas plates. I do plan on swatching all of the plates to give you, you know, some real good you know, looks at what the images look like. So, and suggestions for using these plates. What Francis said, if you are really proficient with playing with plates and you've used some of the cheaper or less etched plates you, and you're having trouble with them smearing or the transfer not looking really good, crisp, what Francis suggested is that you let the polish kind of dry on there, on the plate, just a few seconds before you you know, try to pick it up and transfer it to your nail, which I think is really good advice. So there we go. We're getting some cleanup done, getting some straightening out happening over here. Now this polish is really cool because in some angles it looks kind of purple and in some angles it looks pink. I love it. I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat and seal that stamping in. No, I didn't mess up and forget to use my smudge free top coat. I've used this silver many times and I've never had an issue with it, so I just went in with my posh. Hi Woody, how you doing? But I love how this looks, and in my swatch photo you'll be able to see the pink and the purple and see what I'm talking about with that craziness. 
but I really, really like this manicure. In fact, I wore it for like five days. I know, record breaking, almost. So here's my swatch photo. Would love to hear what you think about this one down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.